Astra Nomani is uh, of, she has written with the written for the Wall Street Journal. Uh, she is an author. And of course, she's a parent as well. And she the reason that we even know about what Virginia has been going through is because of Astra's work with with parents defending education. And she joins us now via Skype. Astra, thank you so much for your voice and for your fight out there and for really just I think when when other parents see you being so fearless and speaking out, I think it gives them a lot more courage to speak out in their communities because it really is an isolating thing. And it's so sad to see so many families terrified of this. Thank you for joining me. Oh, absolutely. I, I completely agree, Dana, that uh, courage is contagious. Very much so. It absolutely is. Now, in your school district, you you really brought this issue to light because Virginia, we were talking about this story with the math and then the, the math equity, and now they're kind of walking back sort of their position on uh, what they had, well, you got them to basically walk back their position on, on dumbing down math because when they say that, they come out and say that minorities essentially can't do the same math that other people can. I think that's a actual, a real racist thing. To, that's a racist policy. That's a, that's the, the, what is it, the soft bigotry of low expectations. Now they're trying to, to walk this back. Tell me about just the fight that you as a parent have had in your district. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I came to this country from India. So I am a minority. I'm Muslim. I'm a single mom. And what I found was that we didn't matter anymore because the obsession after George Floyd's death was about black and Hispanic students and building this, uh, you know, narrowing this equity gap that they claim is the impetus for all of their work. So back in June 2020, we got the uh, email from the principal of our school, a white woman by the name of Ann Bonitatibus, and she told our parents and students that we needed to check our privileges. and. So meanwhile, in our school, we have 70% Asian students, we have 10% black, Hispanic, multiracial, and we have 20% white. And of those families, we've had moms like Yu Yan who marched in Tiananmen Square against oppression in China. We have incredible stories of people who have overcome adversity to come to this country for the American dream. And now over these last months, they have called us white adjacent and deemed us toxic for the school culture. So that yesterday, literally, you will not believe this, but a school teacher, I think you will believe it actually, a school teacher in Fairfax County, Virginia, went on Twitter and said that we needed to just burn the school down. And so that's what we're dealing with. Wow, white adjacent, because you're challenging their narrative and they really needed you to go along with it. So as a result, now they have to demonize you and, and, and essentially kind of rob you of your heritage in order to, yes. that's, that's awful, that is awful. No, it's, it's terrible. And I mean, and I think like, you know, I learned about your work and the families in your, you know, in Carroll Independent School Districts and was so inspired to by it. I just want you to know that because the fact that you guys filed your public record request, found the secret text messages, you know, that showed that these school board members were doing their little shenanigans on the side. I mean, that's the kind of action that every parent, every community member needs to do in every school district because it's just like you said, this toxicity of critical race theory is in every school district and in every school. And it, it, I really do, I don't think I'm underestimating it when I say like, I do believe it's our national security threat. Oh, I agree with you. And I think that that, okay. that could not be underscored enough. Uh, definitely not. We're speaking with Astra Nomani, who is with uh, Parents Defending Education. One of the things that you had said too, um, I, I don't know if this was online or uh, I, I've watched a number of interviews with you. They're not teaching kids to think anymore. They're teaching kids right. to be activists. Talk to me about this. Yeah, I mean, what's so disturbing is, you know, I'm a product of public school education. I went to West Virginia public schools. There was a Mrs. Elke who gave me a journal when I was in seventh grade that made me a writer. And so this is the beauty of our school system when you nurture kids. But just like you said earlier, this phenomena of critical race theory, it's a divisive ideology that wants everybody to look at all of society through a racial lens and pit us against each other. It's the complete opposite of what Martin Luther King preached. And Dana, I am a liberal Democrat and I refuse this ideology of critical race theory because 
it is a bigotry. It is a racism. And the fact that there are all of these liberals and Democrats going along with this campaign to bring racism back to not back to bring racism to our schools is so dangerous. And then activism. You know, this is just one coloring book here of um, Black Lives Matter uh, that's being put forward in the school system because they ultimately want our kids to be social justice warriors. But they define what social justice means. That's the and that's the big point. They get to be the arbiters of what that is, define what it is. And if you're in good standing as a social justice warrior, if you're able to check these check these boxes, you talk about equity as well. And I I noticed that in the past couple of years, there's been a change from equality to equity instead of treating everyone the same, regardless of the situation. We're using the situation as justification to treat people differently. How how have you noticed this in in terms of the how are the kids interpreting this? Because I hear it from my boys and they say I I they they, I mean, they've said it feels like society wants us to focus on differences and kind of hold that against people. And it's awful. What, What have you heard from kids? Yeah, absolutely. Um, You know, we created Parents Defending Education because we were all just these accidental activists in our school districts and realized that we needed a national movement in order to challenge what is also a multi-million dollar industry, right? Mm -hmm. Putting out books, curriculum, uh, they've got teacher training, professional development. Like I read through your uh, Carroll Independent School District cultural, you know, competency plan, and they're bringing in, quote, coaches, right, that are going to then tell people how to think and what to do. Well, this is just another book that was taught in Pennsylvania schools. It's called Not My Idea. And it literally says that badness is a bad deal. And then it's got a picture of the devil with a contract that says that you are going to sell your soul, basically, if you're a white person. That's so unbelievably corrupt to me as somebody who's not even white, right? Like I'm a quote person of color, but this is what they're teaching at the youngest ages. They're hitting them now in kindergarten. There's woke kindergarten YouTube channels that read these kind of books to the kids. The teachers download it and they're in. And so what I want to tell everybody is that You know, please, if you see it happening in your school district, go to defendinged.org and fill out a tip sheet for us, an incident report, and we'll investigate it because that's what we are, that's what we've created our organization to do, to hold these school districts accountable. And I love that there's that, that you have that national website to do that, and that's defendinged.org because there's so many parents, as I'm sure you hear from them as well, there. It, well, in our community, they sent out, I, and I think I have it over here, they, they send out mailers like this one here where they name and shame <clears throat> private citizens for simply right. object. These are parents with kids in the school district. They name parents who object to this. Yeah. And so uh, these families are, are looking at each other thinking, oh, well, I maybe I don't want to be the only one to speak out. I don't want to be the one that, you know, starts getting the looks at, you know, the supermarket or at the soccer games or anything else. And they really do, I th- I feel, want to isolate parents and, and having somewhere to go and knowing that they have someone yeah. that they can call for backup is, is so helpful. And I'm sure, obviously, that was one of the thoughts in, in, that you had in going and creating this group. Yeah, because we want to we want people to stand up with courage, but ultimately not feel like they are risking their lives. Right. And that is what is happening now when you have, you know, a school teacher saying burn the school down. I'm like the target of all the smear campaign right now in our our um, TJ class of 2023 parents group. Like the 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 woke parents have decided that because I'm exposing this stuff, let's let's go after her and just, you know, writing lies. But. We have to always remember that, like, anytime you challenge power and control, they're going to come after you. And we have to stand strong. Like, we'll protect your anonymity. And there will be folks like you and me and others who will be the public face of this fight. We'll tell your stories. But you do not need to stay silent. Like, it, it is... Uh, immigrants here in Northern Virginia who came to this country because they love this country. And we're actually, we're fighting for the American dream. We're, we're, we literally believe that the future of America is in the balance if this continues. And so please muster up your courage and, and write to us, stand up and challenge things. Absolutely. The website is defendined.org. 
Astro Nomani, thank you so much for your time today and for doing this because I know this is this is really I, I'm I'm sure you've been hearing from parents all over the country. There's been such a response to this, and this is the yeah. time and and this is the common ground issue for sure. Yeah, and we've got Carol um, County, you know, up count, Carol and independent school districts on our map. And so we're going to be watching them for you too. There we go. You're not alone. They're on the list now. Astra, thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate you.